Hello, everybody, and welcome to Brooks Knows Baseball, War Baseball Classic Special. It is a joyous, joyous occasion as um, uh, sweating a little bit, but America scraped by and beat the powerhouse of Columbia. Maybe our house said this was soccer, but this is not soccer. It's baseball, but still. Um, the bats finally came alive. Um, well, I guess Mike Trout's bat finally came alive, we could say. But going over the quick box score here, again, the score was 3-2. to two. Uh, Mike Trout had all three RBIs. Looking at the United States real quick, Mookie Betts was 2-4. for four. He's batting 235 in the tournament. Mike Trout was 3-4, three, for four, three RBIs, one strikeout. He's up to 417, so he's really... Um, he really came alive in the Captain America's leading this team as he should. Um, Goldschmidt is over on the night. Two walks, though, so his on base is looking pretty good. Hitting 273. Arenado, one for four. He's hitting 333. Um, Pete Alonso is uh, might as well not even show up to the bat. Uh, the plate, maybe he already lost a lot of weight. Maybe he should gain it back because he looks lost out there. Um, Kyle Schwarber, another one, looks lost. He's had one big play this old world baseball classic. Yeah, why is he in the field? I was about to say that as well. They pinch hit Mullins, a defensive replacement later in the game. Um, I think any manager right now, if you say you could have Kyle Schwarber, Cedric Mullins, I don't see how you could not choose Mullins. Obviously, call, a Schwarber is a one dimensional, he, he's a home run hitter, a strikeout guy, can't play the field. Yep. Uh, I mean, hit, how he was drafted as a catcher, do you remember that? Yeah. Then he stuck his, his rotund button outfield. Yep. Um, yep. You know, anyway. Moving on, Tim Anderson was 0 for tonight, and I think he made an error in the field, if I'm not mistaken. I think the score the scorekeepers kind of were very uh, – because they're showing no errors. They're very lenient tonight because I think Trey Turner – Well, Trey Turner definitely made one in that last inning. He tried he to back in the ball. Yeah, he, he made two on the night that he did. And that's, that's, that's rare for him. I don't know what the heck's going on. Yeah, but Trey Turner, uh, one for three tonight, one strikeout. Uh, one thing I want to say about Anderson, he's wearing the sombrero tonight as well, since someone wants to think he's invincible. <clears throat> it's pretty darn good. Yeah, not tonight he wasn't. Couldn't have won with him out the other night, probably. Merrill Kelly was not on tonight. He didn't give a, He only gave up two earned it, but he only pitched three innings, uh, four hits. His stuff was just not sharp, I didn't think. It seemed like everything was high in the zone, high and inside a lot, so – um, he did have two walks in three innings, not on as well as all. The Kendall, bullpen didn't give up a single hit, did they? Uh, Kendall Graveman and Presley gave up one. Uh, oh, yeah, because they gave that hit to – Yeah. That was, that was should have been. They gave were the errors that the infielders made. But uh, yeah. Tim Anderson dropped a fly ball. That's what it was. It was a hard catch, but he dropped it. Well, one. yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a tough one. Yeah, but um, yeah, Kendall Graveman, one inning, one hit, one strikeout. Daniel Bard, one inning, a one walk, one strikeout. His ERA, he probably found a 21. Yay. Bednar, one inning as well. Um, no hits, one strikeout. Adam, three strikeouts, no hits. Williams, two strikeouts, no hits. And then Presley, one hit, one strikeout. Close out the game. So overall, the box score, um, I guess I can go over Venezuela real quick, too. we got a little bit of time here. Our cl- Columbia. Just go over a couple highlights. No one cares. There's not much to talk about. No one really got six hits, really. Their me. pitching was good. Yeah, their pitching did good. There's one pitcher. Um, I guess what Gio Urshela, Urshela went over on the night. He did a sack fly as well. Alfaro, one for three. Mercado, one for three. They, they, did you, did Alfaro got robbed in the ninth. Did you see that? Yeah. He hit, he scorched one down third base and Arenado did an Arenado. Right, I, I still remember. I think um, it was uh, Schmoltz who said, "Of all the players to hit that kind of ball at, you hit it towards arguably the best fielder in baseball at third base ever, ever best." Ever. Well, uh, second to Brooks Robinson, but yeah, go ahead. He's on his way to catch Brooks in Gold Gloves, but yeah, he he still got a long way to go, buddy. Well, he'll probably he ain't even halfway there, is he? What's he got? Eight. He has ten. Okay, well, he's got what? How much Brooks got? Eighteen. I don't know. Different. Yeah. 16 or 18. One so, player yeah. looked pretty good for um, Columbia tonight is Guillermo Zuniga. He is a uh, St. Louis Cardinals, 24 years old, 6'5", 230 pounds, and he brings the heat. He was in Texas last year in the minors. 
Um, 52 game, 54 innings, and he had a 4.7 ERA, but he did impress me tonight. He didn't give up anything against that roster. Had two strikeouts, and his stuff was electric. It was high 90s, low 100s. He can hit 102 at times. So really exciting to look at him. But overall box score here, so America again wins 3-2. to two. We have seven hits to their six. No home runs on each side. Nine, nine total bases for America, eight for them. No stolen bases. We left four guys on base. They left five, and Columbia will have to re-qualify for the next tournament. Um, which I Great Britain won't. Great Britain will not. So, um, but that's good for them. Some other scores around the league tonight. Cuba beat Australia 4-3, to three, moves on to Venezuela, uh, continues the unbeaten streak by winning 5-1 to one against Israel. Mexico um, tr- crushed Canada 10-3. to three. Puerto Rico and Dominican Republic, surprising Dominican Republic has not advanced with that super team. Um, well, I bought into it as well, so I can't really say that much. But the biggest news, I think, coming out of the Puerto Rican game is Edwin Diaz, the Mets' star closer. Um, when they say he was celebrating, don't, I don't want people to think he was jumping around, jumping around, because they weren't. It was a freak thing, and they said it's his left knee, I believe, and his brother was crying. And if it's non-contact, if you watch football, you know what that means. He's done for the year. Um, but again, Puerto Rico is moving on, and obviously Venezuela is um, I keep thinking Colombia is going home. Venezuela is moving on tomorrow. Italy versus Japan starts the next round round robin. I think we know who's going to win that game unless Vinny Pasquantino, Mike Piazza. I know his real name is Piazza, but uh, let's we'll see what they do. And then I just call him Mike Piazza Hut. Well, Mike Piazza Hut. There you go. America is playing Venezuela coming up, which is they need to be ready. Venezuela is tougher than any team they've played so far. Um, it, it's Wait a minute. Back up. So uh, Puerto Rico knocked out Dominican? Mm-hmm. Dominican, done. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, but take a look real quick because we got a few minutes left. I'm just going to go over the Venezuelan uh, uh, real quick. Martin Perez, Jose Quillada, um, Eduardo Rodriguez, uh, Pablo Lopez, uh, Darwin Zahn Hernandez, the, Edwin Escobar, Julius Chassin, um, Max Castillo, Jose Alvardo. Uh, then we got pitchers. We got Salvador Perez, Robertson Chirinos, infielders Jose Altuve, Luis Arez, Andres Jimenez, Luis Rengifo, Eugenio Suarez, Glaber Torres, Ronald Acuna Jr., David Peralta, Anthony Santander, Miguel Cabrera. This is the best team America's played, and if they're not... Yeah, but... Offensively, they're not as good as us. Uh, man for man, they're not as good as us. Altuve is as good as any hitter America. Has. Pure well, Arez is okay. Better. Uh, uh, it, you look at career numbers. Him and Anderson are similar. Of course, Altuve has gained some power somehow. Once, but Anderson hits, it gets an MVP. Then you can talk to me. Until then, he's not yeah, Altuve. Well, Altuve it, he, he can hit as good as him. Altuve could retire today, and he's a Hall of Famer. Yeah, but Anderson could hit as good as him. But you go man for man. They, who do they got at third base? Who? Uh, uh, Venezuela. Uh, pro- probably. Doesn't matter. He's not as good as Arenado. Probably Suarez. They, they ain't got anybody as good as Trout. They ain't got a catcher. I don't. Well, their catcher's pretty good, but our catcher's is pretty good too. First base, we got reigning MVP. A red. You know? Rez is probably playing for space. Uh, Andres Jimenez is, is, but where you say all this, has America done enough this tournament as to, to up to this point to prove to you that they're going to show up against a team like that? Well, no, but yeah. I think I still think our pitching. Yeah, okay, yeah, we we only give it two runs tonight. Okay, we played Colombia. That's what I'm saying. It's not soccer. In soccer, Colombia should be competitive against America, not baby. Yeah. This is, I mean, there's, there's uh, Ronald Acuna Jr. and Anthony Santander. You're, you're a huge Anthony. You've got a jersey in your house. You love Anthony Santander. So, well, he played for Norfolk Tides. Of course, I love him. Then Miguel Cabrera is the, uh, you know, but one of the best. Hip- Miguel Cabrera, he's gonna break a hip out there and be on a DL all year. I'm just saying, he, he, he's done, man. Done. We already discussed them on the Tigers, but you know, it all comes down to pitching to me. And we don't have a lot of pitching. We got a few. You know, I think I think we're better off if we get to our bullpen. If you look at, I'm tell you right now how they're hitting. Eugenio Suarez is hitting 600. Salvador Perez is hitting 500. Santana Eugenio Suarez. Would you rather have him or Aaron Otto at third? Right now, he's hot. 
Uh, and okay, and a short, short sample size. David Peralta, 400. Andres Jimenez, two. David yeah. Peralta. I'm telling you. Yeah, we, we got more talent. If we play up to our ability, it should be no contest. Should be, but it's we. I say we're going to step up and finally play because they know they got to play hard and they're going to win. I hope so. Jose De Leon, um, no hits in f over five innings. That's, Jose De Leon. Sorry, that was Puerto Rico. I'm looking at that. I, Pablo Lopez is their best one right now. His whip's point four. Yeah, well, I'm sure, sure. Anyway, take a look. Watch America. I believe it starts this weekend for America. I don't have the times in front of me right now. Let me see if I can schedule it because we are in Miami finally. All right, here we go. Wednesday, March 15th, which was today. So go. Looks like we're going to be playing on Friday. I would hope Saturday. Give them pictures more rest. No, Saturday. No, it is Saturday. That's right. March 18th. I think it's a three days, so you could conceivably pitch, pitch. Lance Lynn. That'd be five days rest, right? Because he pitched Monday. Now they can they 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 can up their pitching too. Yeah, to what eighty pitches? Yeah, I one team I would say to watch out for though. Right now, apart from America, America, I don't know if they're the their pitching just has been lackluster in their offense apart from one explosion against Canada has been yeah. not good either. So I would I, my uh, watch out for Puerto Rico or Venezuela. Yeah. I mean, it's just kind of like the playoffs in baseball. Whoever gets hot now. We're not hot. Trout's hot. No. Uh, but yeah, with that being said, we'll shut it down and run a little bit later than normal here for our War Baseball Classic Special. But every time America plays, we'll be on here talking about the WBC, talking about America, talking about everything else. So um, make sure to listen to it. Baseball, good playoff atmosphere in March, which is great news. And then um, Ma Major League Baseball is right around the corner. Looking forward to that. As well. But for Brooks News Baseball, this is Jeremy. I'll let John Boy do the, uh, the uh, close it down. That's all for now, folks. We'll catch you next time on Brooks Knows Baseball. Good night. Good night, John.